welcome to Today on the Green. I'm your host, I'm Bridget, and that's Evie. Well, something's different. And no, it's not that beautiful painting behind us. It was yesterday's episode. Yeah, so we had a little mess up. No, no, but no, it... no, 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 no. No, it was a bit. No. It was a little joke that we made because we thought it was funny, you know, to make it seem like it's just the editing, you know, it's just a little joke like that, you know, the different tries, that's funny. Oh, no. you guys actually have to no. try it this, you know, take several shots. So no, it was a it's, joke. It's okay with Randy. Um, it, it was a little mess up, but... It was on purpose. It was... It was on purpose. Well, who knows if you guys even saw it, because Instagram and Facebook crashed, so here's Nitty with more. Though Odysseus Lander made history as the first commercial craft to reach the lunar surface and the first U.S. spacecraft on the moon in more than half a century, and landed anonymously on the south pole of the moon after several previous attempts, the spacecraft carries six scientific experiments for NASA and six commercial items expecting to stay on the moon for approximately one week before losing power. Produced by Texas-based engineering firm Intuitive Machines, the successful mission marks a significant step forward in the United States' ongoing investments in space exploration and provides valuable new data that can be used in future lunar missions. The success of the Odysseus mission will ultimately prove useful to scientists as they prepare for NASA's manned Artemis missions to establish a long-term U.S. presence on the moon and use that experience to inform later journeys to Mars. It's exciting to think that perhaps some of the people in these future space exploration missions could be past students of Benita. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Nettie. Yeah, a lot of people were, were uh, worried that they got hacked, but, you know, it's okay now. So, Bridget, how did you feel about Good. that? Good. Serves them right. <laughs> okay, it's Tuesday, so we did interviews. What's that commotion, and why is there all that people around? Oh, it's lunchtime. So we're asking people, what's your favorite pizza topping? You know what? I'm a classic type of gal, and I'm going to go with pepperoni because you can never go wrong with pepperoni. It's so great. I love that. Mushrooms. I love mushrooms, yeah. yeah. Pepperoni, because, like, it's basic, but, like, it's really good. <laughs> it is good. Thank you. Uh, pepperoni and mushroom. Well, the thing, the thing is, is that pepperoni never goes wrong. It's a classic, but pepperoni com with a combination of sausage as well, that's perfection, in my humble opinion. This is a very hot take, but corn... Like, go to Pyology and get corn on your pizza. It's so good. My, I think the best pizza topping is, like, a good pepperoni, sometimes Parmesan cheese. But it depends on, like, the parm cheese, and it also depends on the, pe like, pepperoni. Um, if you're getting it from, like, a restaurant, sometimes they have, like, the fancy specials with, like, all the toppings. And if they do it right, that could be really good. But I think the most reliable choice is just pepperoni. Definitely pepperoni because I'm just basic like that. <laughs> That's okay. Well, pizza is like a very diverse food, so you can have many different things on there. You can have chicken, pineapple, pepperoni, and yeah, my favorite is uh, pineapple, though. Pepperonis, mushrooms, and sausage. Very interesting choices. Now back to the studio. So, Evie, what's your all-time favorite pizza topping? I like pineapple and mushrooms. They're my favorite. Mm. It's really good. Yeah. Makes sense. Sounds like you. <laughs> okay, Bridget, what's your favorite? Mm, you know, you can't go wrong with cheese. Just plain cheese. Or yep. I like tomatoes and basil margarita pizza. Yep. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Really tasty. Should try it sometime. Classy. I have. Well, speaking about picking favorites, here's Nora with the primaries. Today, over 15 states are holding their primary elections, including California. So far, Trump has won the most primaries for the Republican Party, and Biden has won the most primaries for the Democratic Party. Nikki Haley, another representative for the Republican Party, won the Washington, D.C. primary. Students who are 18 and already registered to vote can vote today for their selected party. Unfortunately, Taylor Swift isn't on the ballot this year, but it's still important to vote Swifties. Man, I knew there was trouble when I walked in today. Thanks, Nora. Wow, the primaries. Well... Our country's gonna be in shambles for a while. Yep, and Link Crew today met up with the freshmen to talk about Action Night, so here's Randy with more. Hey Bearcats, it's Randy, and today at Intervention, Link Crew and ASB met in the gym today to show Action Night to the freshmen. They demonstrated what games are played and had them play and compete with their Intervention class. It's a great way to ensure the freshmen will attend Action Night and have an understanding of the games and competition. Back to the studio. Thanks, Randy. That was on purpose. Just like the last time was on purpose, too. 
And that concludes today's episode of Today on the Green. Come back tomorrow to see what happens. Today on the Green, tomorrow! tomorrow.